my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading. And this will be for my Pisces. And this will be for the week of the 8th through the 14th of March. I hope you guys had a great week. My week has been good. Uh, it was cold. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was good. Uh, this week coming up is going to be very warm here in New York. 50s to 60s. I can't wait. I'm um, looking forward to the warmer weather so I can get out and do some yard work. Um, it's been too cold to be really getting out there. And plus, with all the snow that we had, it hasn't been melting. So it's hard to get out there and get anything done. So, all right, let's get these two more shuffles and we'll get on with your reading, my loves. All right, one more. Okay, so angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Pisces needs to know for the week of the 8th through the 14th, please? more card and there it is okay let's see first cards I'm going to read are your inner influences these are the cards that are closest to you now or the cards that are coming in quickly um I have the three of diamonds this is the money um the money safe um, the door on this money safe is pointing towards you so that means you will have some loss of uh, money um, so some loss of money may be happening or, um, maybe coming in quickly. I have the four of clubs. This is the key. Success is coming to you or it is here. Um, you have to put in a little bit of work to get this. Um, you need to, uh, like the key is, right? We're going to unlock that door. So we need to put the key in the door, turn the lock, turn the handle and open the door. And then the success is there. But you need to do that little bit of effort to be able to get that success. Nine of clubs. This is the park. If you are not with somebody, okay, if you are single, you are going to meet a new love in a park type setting. Uh, amongst trees, benches, uh, grass, uh, paths. Um, park bench, something along that lines, you will meet a new love. Three of clubs is the tree, the tree of life, good health. Good health is coming to you or it is here. You are going to be fulfilled to your highest hopes. Four of hearts. This is the fish. This is uh, riches through stocks. So if you're not in the stock market, I suggest you put some money into the stock market. You're going to be uh, on the emotional side this week. So a little bit of emotions are going to play in uh, with you this week. It can also mean a water sign. Okay. So it can be talking about a Cancer, a Scorpio, or maybe a Pisces. Um, we have the anchor next. That's the five of diamonds. Stay where you're at. Job wise. Business-wise, uh, relationship-wise, home-wise, um, don't be moving. Don't be going anywhere. Stay where you're at. Success is coming, um, but it's coming to you. Um, it, business success is coming. Ventures um, with business. Uh, everything is coming. Fidelity, love. Everything is coming to you, but you need to stay where you're at. The next I have is the clouds. This indicates uh, domestic happiness because the uh, clouds are on the clear side. They're not on the darker side. So that uh, is coming in clear for you. Uh, good domestic happiness. 
The last card on your inner reading is the King of Spades. This is the bride. This ensures uh, if you're single that you will be fulfilled to your highest uh, hopes and uh, you're going to have a wonderful marriage and a wonderful life ahead. If you are um, married, um, that doesn't mean with somebody, it means married, um, that you're going to have a little bit of turbulence or a little bit of rockiness in your marriage. The next cards I have for you are your outer influences. These are the cards that are hanging out there waiting to come in to you. Okay, the two of clubs. This is the railroad. You've been through a long journey, something that has been going on for a long time. This journey is finally going to end for you and a new beginning is going to start. That is amazing. Um, I have the Ace of Hearts. This is the Fox. Uh, this is uh, somebody that you're going to meet. It's an acquaintance. That is a... He's, they're not trustworthy. So be on the lookout for that. Do not trust this person. They may be out to try to betray you. The queen of diamonds is the children. Children are coming into your life. Um, you know, spend some time with your children. Um, that uh, if you're looking to have children, it is a sign that children will be coming. Um, if you don't have children, don't want children, um, then be friendly with children. Um, spend some time with children, be uh, friendly, have that uh, childlike innocence in you, and uh, just, you know, look at things through the eyes of a child. I have the Ten of Clubs. This is the Tower card. This is sickness. Um, so you may be getting sick. Somebody, um, you know, you may be coming down with a cold. So be on the lookout for that. Take your vitamins, um, you know, Get in plenty of sleep, water, uh, take your vitamin C, uh, airborne if you are into airborne, um, but it does denote some sickness coming in. King of Hearts. This is hand in hand. If you are single, you will fall in love or you will, uh, a friend of yours, it's going to turn into more than just a friendship. It's going to turn into a love relationship maybe. Um, if you are married or with somebody, that means that you are with your best friend. Six of hearts. This is the house. This is a uh, success in all of your ventures. A uh, happy, prosperous uh, marriage and a prosperous uh, future home-wise and with your partner. Eight of diamonds. This is the broken glass. You're not going to be lucky uh, that you, like you once were. Um, Lottery-wise, uh, gambling, putting your name in, sorry, <clears throat> putting your name in drawings or things like that. You're not going to be as lucky as you once were. But then I have the luck card. Weird. Uh, the five of clubs. This is the clover. This is good tidings are coming to you. Luck is coming. Um, so, um... You know, look out for that happiness. Happiness is going to follow you. Great. All right, so the next cards I'm going to read are from the universe. So let's talk to the universe and ask them if there's any input that they would like to, um, you know, input from that drawing. Anything they'd like to clarify. Is there any clarification you would like to do for that reading, universe, or add to that reading? Two more shuffles. Last one. They want you to look in your genealogy. They want to look you to look into your ancestors. Um generations before you. So take a look at that. Maybe do some genealogy work. Maybe uh, ask your parents um, if you have parents left or grandparents. Um, ask some stuff about your ancestors. Um, they're telling you to look into your ancestry. Um, then they want you to do some shape shifting. Look deep into yourself um, at the things that, uh, you know, you need to look at uh, deep down. Things that bother you. Uh, you know, do some, some soul searching. Do some inner work. 
there is going to be a uh, ceremony of some sort, an invocation. So there, you're going to have a ceremony coming up, uh, an invocation of some sort that will be coming up. Then I have the new moon. That's that. That that invocation may be about a wedding or something along that lines. I have the two lovers here. Um, this is all about that promise that is going to be made. Um, you know, so whatever this uh, ceremony is, it's going to be about that promise. It's going to be about that love, that promise that is coming in. It's all a new newness. So that's amazing. Great. All right, let's talk to spirit. Spirit, give me a card that Pisces needs to hear for the week of the 8th through the 14th of March, please. A card that Pisces needs to hear. What does Pisces need to hear? Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument. Two sides, if not more. To every story in hundreds of ways, to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how other persons think or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment, too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some might refuse to remain open to others' points of view. No matter what you've been presented with, a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. <clears throat> so, there's always two sides to an argument. One person, you know, thinks one way. Another person thinks another way. Sometimes we need to just, you know, go to middle ground, you know, and say, okay, I'm not right. You're not right. So, let's meet in the middle, you know, and sometimes when we meet in the middle, we do that common ground. We're going to understand things better. You know, sometimes we can be too judgmental. Um, sometimes we think we're always right. You know, well, we need to change that um, about ourselves and look at uh, look at things from another point of view. Look at things through uh, their eyes, maybe. You know, we can't always think we're right all the time. You know, that compromise is key. So they're talking about compromise. Okay. All right. Let's pull a card. Uh, your mantra card. Your reflection card for the week. So um, <clears throat> what is a reflection card that Pisces needs to hear? And there it is. Loving others is easy. When I love and accept myself. So love and accept yourself. You know, you need to love you for who you are inside and what you have become um, before you can love others. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself and I love others and others love me. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. So guys, love and accept yourself. You know, um, once you start to love yourself, then you're going to be able to love freely. You're going to be able to love those out there. You're going to be able to love others, you know, and they will love you back. So there is your mantra for the week. Love it. So guys, remember this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. That'll give you a better picture into your reading. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing week. And until next time. Mm-hmm.